I'm Doug Bernauer, CEO and co-founder of Radiant. We're developing an ability to generate power at the point of need. A nuclear reactor in your home that powers everything, from air conditioners to heavy machinery, for 10 years straight without refueling. Sounds unbelievable, right? When we think of nuclear power, we picture massive plants with cooling towers and endless security, not something in our backyard. But what if a tiny, safe nuclear generator could sit quietly on your property, running all your appliances for years on end without a single fuel truck visit? It may sound like science fiction, but thanks to new technology, it's inching toward reality. Today we're talking about Radiant's micro-nuclear reactor, a small nuclear generator being developed to deliver clean, reliable power wherever it's needed. Before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Traditional reactors use uranium fuel rods, splitting atoms in a chain reaction that heats water to hundreds of degrees. That steam then spins turbines to generate electricity. Big nuclear plants can produce hundreds or even thousands of megawatts, enough for cities, but they require huge infrastructure and long construction times. Radiant's microreactor, by contrast, shrinks all that into a compact container-sized unit. Instead of a sprawling complex, it's built in a factory like high-tech equipment and delivered by truck to wherever it's needed. Radiant was founded by a team of former SpaceX engineers aiming to bring aerospace-style manufacturing to nuclear power. Their first model, nicknamed Kaleidos, generates about one megawatt of electricity, roughly enough for several hundred homes, and it also produces nearly two megawatts of heat. The entire reactor core fits inside something about the size of an office trailer, making it vastly smaller than any traditional power plant. Inside, it uses advanced triso fuel. Thousands of tiny uranium particles, each sealed in ceramic layers. Think poppy seeds of nuclear fuel. This fuel is incredibly robust. Even at extreme temperatures, the uranium stays trapped in its layers, which makes the reactor essentially meltdown proof. In other words, it's designed so that even in a worst-case scenario, the fuel cannot melt or leak radioactive material. It uses helium gas to cool the core and carry heat to the turbine for electricity. Unlike water, helium is completely inert and won't absorb neutrons or become radioactive, so any leak is harmless. The helium circulates through the hot core and drives a turbine to make power. Similar to how steam drives turbines, but without any steam or risk of boiling. Surrounding the core are rotating control drums and sensors that regulate the fission reaction. By spinning these drums, half neutron absorber, half reflector, the reactor can smoothly increase or decrease its power output. If temperatures start to climb too high, the system automatically slows or even shuts down the reaction. It basically manages itself safely. With multiple safety layers and heavy shielding, the design keeps all radiation contained, so no one needs to stand by it constantly. Now, let's talk outputs. One radiant reactor's one megawatt of electricity can serve roughly a thousand average homes, at about one kilowatt each, or a smaller number of larger buildings. It also supplies almost two megawatts of heat for heating or industrial use. The intent is to replace diesel generators in remote or critical sites. Imagine an isolated village, an Arctic research base, or a military outpost, all currently run on diesel fuel flown or trucked in. With a micro-reactor, you could flip a switch instead of running fuel convoys. It delivers clean, quiet power for years, day and night, without air pollution. These reactors are built to run unattended for years. A single fuel load lasts about five to 10 years of continuous operation. After that, 
the entire reactor module is taken back to the factory to be refueled and tested, much like swapping out a battery pack. Each unit can be refueled multiple times for a total lifespan of around 20 years. During operation, Radiant engineers monitor the reactor's performance remotely 24-7 through advanced control systems, so no operator needs to live on site. In short, you get set and forget power. It keeps humming along on its own for years. How much would one of these cost? Early estimates suggest the upfront price could be in the tens of millions of dollars per reactor. That's far more than a diesel generator, but remember, no fuel bills for a decade. Radiant argues that in places where diesel is extremely expensive, say six to seven dollars per gallon, the economics work out. For example, analysts project that micro-reactor electricity could cost around 15 to 40 cents per kilowatt hour when you factor in capital and fuel. Diesel generators in remote areas often cost 15 cents to 60 cents per kilowatt hour once you include fuel and transport. So over time, avoiding fuel deliveries and maintenance can make the expensive reactor pay for itself. The company is also focusing on mass production, building a factory to churn these out by the dozens or more, which should bring the cost down compared to a one-off design. Of course, it's not like you can put one in your basement tomorrow. Because they use nuclear fuel, Radiance reactors will face heavy regulation. They need design approvals, security measures, and operator training. No one is simply plugging a reactor next to a home today without decades of oversight. There's also the spent fuel to consider. After five to 10 years, the used fuel is still radioactive. Radiant plans to take the whole used module back to special facilities for recycling or long-term storage. That keeps people safe, but the radioactive material still needs careful handling. For now, think of these units going to government and industrial customers, military bases, disaster response teams, telecom and data centers in remote regions, rather than lining neighborhood streets. By the way, modern nuclear power is extremely clean in operation. A running reactor emits zero carbon and no air pollution. Statistically, nuclear plants have caused far fewer deaths per unit of energy than coal or gas. Coal smoke and accidents at fuel mines kill many more people. If Radiant's micro-reactor replaces diesel generators or coal plants in a community, it would vastly cut pollution and greenhouse gases. In a sense, it offers nuclear on-demand, always-on carbon-free power where renewables are hard to deploy. So, friends, could Radiant's tiny nuclear generator power your home someday? Maybe. But it will be years before it's ready for market, as testing and new regulations take time. By the late 2000s or early 2000s, however, Container-sized reactors might quietly hum away in remote towns or even neighborhoods. Imagine your apartment complex with a mini nuclear backup in the basement. It sounds wild, but that's the vision some engineers are working toward. What do you think of micro-nuclear tech? Would you trust a reactor to power your home? Let us know in the comments below. Friends, before we completely wrap up, Let's pause for a moment and think about what this really means for the future. For more than a hundred years, electricity has controlled our lives, but the way we generate it has barely changed. We still burn fuel, we still depend on long transmission lines, and we are still vulnerable to blackouts, wars, fuel shortages, and natural disasters. Radiant's micro-reactor challenges that entire system. It suggests a future where power is local, reliable, and independent. A future where a storm cannot shut down your city, where fuel trucks don't decide whether hospitals stay online, and where energy security is no longer a privilege of large nations, but a tool available to small communities. Think about disaster zones, friends, earthquakes, 
hurricanes, floods. The first thing that fails is electricity. Communication collapses, hospitals run on limited backup power, and recovery slows down. Now imagine a self-contained nuclear micro-power plant already running in that area, unaffected by fuel supply chains or weather conditions, providing constant power for years. That single change could save lives, speed up recovery, and completely transform emergency response. This is where Radiance Vision becomes more than just technology. It becomes infrastructure resilience. And now let's look even further ahead. Data centers powering artificial intelligence, crypto networks, and cloud computing are consuming enormous amounts of electricity. These facilities need uninterrupted power 24-7. Renewable energy is clean, but it depends on sunlight and wind. Batteries help, but only for hours or days. A micro-reactor that can deliver constant, carbon-free energy for a decade could become the backbone of next-generation computing. In the future, the biggest AI systems may not run on coal or gas, but on silent nuclear units buried underground, doing their job without anyone noticing. Friends, this technology also changes how we think about energy ownership. Instead of depending on centralized grids controlled by a few entities, power could become decentralized. Communities could own their own energy sources. Industries could secure their own power. Even nations with limited natural resources could become energy independent. Radiance Micro Reactor is not just about producing electricity. It's about shifting control over energy itself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends who love cutting-edge energy. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into futuristic technology. Thanks for watching, stay curious, and until next time, keep shining.